sushied out with a half diaper in the middle of JFK. Yeah. Um, that's not even the worst of it. I literally had to call the police, called the police <laughs> to get them to come help me. Cause I'm not, what am I? I have a flight to catch. How was your weekend? It was pretty good, actually. Where you were on an adventure, weren't you? Whoa. What? Yeah. No, I totally was. Yeah. Um why did why did you why did you What are you it? referring to right now? Africa. Yeah, okay. I was in Africa. I went on a trip to to Morocco with YSL and it was really cool and awesome. It was pretty crazy. Like, I don't know. I know I don't really leave the vicinity of my apartment, so it was quite an experience for me. Love. That was how my weekend went. I just flew home and then I slept. I like yeah. got off the plane and all was like, We're going out. I was like, No, mm-hmm. we're not. And then I fell asleep at like seven PM. Yeah. And then I just didn't do anything Are else. Are you gonna ask me about my weekend or no, like what? I don't care. Okay. How was your weekend? It was good, you know. I had to lo- I had to fill things to do while you were gone. Um I watched <laughs> Harry Potter, so that was fun. I did too. I did that. Um I went and saw Kenzie's new house. And just hung out with friends. It was funny. He was like, I'm so, like, I don't know what to do without you. I'm about to start DMing Instagram baddies. To hang out I'm with. just like, <laughs> I have like five friends or like four. Like, really, I don't have that many. Yeah. We keep it small. Keep yes, it small over here. So, my weekend was not as productive as yours, but that's okay. Red flags. Yeah. This episode so is, is all be about, about red, red flags. flags. Um, I'm really excited. I don't know. I just this think, is funny. And I yeah. remember we were really struggling with like what we want. Cause like, again, as much as like we can go on and talk about our experiences in LA, you still have to have direction and stuff. And I feel like we were like, we do not know what to talk about for mm-hmm. episode two. And I remember Luis and Alana were like, episode two guys, episode two, like, what are we doing? What are we talking about? And we're like, <laughs> we don't know and then i saw a meme that was like i see red flags and heart shapes and i was like that's hilarious you're like that's we're what we're talk talking about, about it yeah i love that yeah i'm a genius okay so red flags <laughs> you like to ignore them a lot i know <laughs> again i see red flags and heart shapes i love them i eat them up they're just like my favorite things ever um yeah no i just i'm, I'm a i'm a bit of a ditz sometimes like mm-hmm. i'm just not I, I think you're to, smarter than you give yourself credit for. I think you like to ignore red flags. No, I think I totally see them. No, but you then for I'm sure like, see them. Mm, you know, you're like, how red can they be? And they're like, they're like dark red, like, sc- like scorching just hot red, scorching flaming hot red. red. They like have flames in your on face, them, and I'm like, you know, <sighs> I think mo- I think coming, I don't know. It's definitely interesting how I've been able. To, like, read red flags. Well, dating in L.A. is really something. It's really something. Um, That's a quite the pivot. <laughs> but, I mean, no, not really. Yeah. It's just, like, the red flags in L.A. are very, like, interesting. I think, I think it's easy in growing up with the family I grew up with and, like, the background that we have. Like, picking up, I, like, had to pick up on red flags from a very early mm-hmm. age, like, regarding, like, friendships and, like, just that kind of different scenario. So I think, I think I've had experience for it with it for a while. Cause you know, you'd have friends want to be your friend for the wrong reasons or like, you know, so I've always been able to pick up on those little things. And then I moved here and it changed the game. Like people mm-hmm. are so good here. Like those red, like they're good. What do you mean by that? Like they put like the performances and like oh, okay, o- they're okay. Oscar worthy. Like they're Oscar totally. worthy. Totally. They're so totally. Oscar worthy. Um, like a red. Like I could see a flag that's like maybe like, so, like I don't know, green, but then like there's a red behind it. There's a lot of red behind it. <laughs> yeah, <okay. laughs> but I think that's a that's a good way to put it. I no, think. yeah, it's like people are really really good like here. You flip the flag over and it's mm-hmm. like bright red. Literally. So I think totally. I think I thought I had a good idea of how to like read red flags and manage them and then I moved here and I was like oh I don't like you just like you like you get in these situations where you feel really really comfortable with certain people and then it like comes back to completely bite you in the ass Mm -hmm. like I cannot even count how many times that I've like thought I've told somebody something and like they've been like my closest person ever and then like I find out it's like it's it's just crazy like people are really good here 
Yeah. So I think I think I'm trained red flag expert now. I'm not. No, I okay. I mm, okay. Here's my thing. I am a relationship girl at heart. Like I'm just. I love being in a relationship. Mm -hmm. I have been like that forever, and now that I'm single, um, I feel like I have no idea what like. Yeah. No, people are like like I don't know the red flags are just flying over my head I have no idea what's going on half the time yeah. Oliver does and he's just like mm, babe, mm, maybe yeah. not but like I don't know I'm always dialed in I just don't like, know like we'll be out with like there's certain settings that we'll get into and I'll leave being like I'll, or like we'll be there and I'm like oh we need to break down I'm mm -hmm. like we have lots to break down and she's like what like that the vibes were great the vibes were totally. awesome and I'm like I don't like know what's and going I'm just on like time. I peep everything I'm always dude. very much nothing like, gets la, past la, me la, I peep la, everything la, like I'm always in my own head. like if someone looks at me sideways or if some like no, if I'm having a conversation with someone and I clearly know it's like yeah it's like not it's like I know when it's not legit no, so like, it's unless like, it's a personal attack against yeah. me, like, I'm going to think everything's fine. <laughs> so, like, uh, it's funny because uh, every situation, like, events we go to, like, gatherings, et cetera, I always leave being like, oh, we need de full debrief. And like, I'm red like, what? And you're like, that wait, was, like, that was best, amazing. That was the best <laughs> like, night of my life. What do yeah. you mean? That's why I don't leave the house. I feel like, I feel like I've done a really good job of, like, protecting like how I feel about myself and how I feel like looks wise, how I, like, cause I think for a while, like there was a time where I like, wasn't like on social media actively just cause I like was letting opinions of others, like get in my head, not even like online, but just like pictures that I saw of myself. I'd be like, Oh, I hate that. Or like, just, I like didn't feel like, I feel like I was letting my image of others, like, my, like letting others perceive me rule my world. So I think I like, it's hard for me when I do go out in those settings and scenarios and I feel like really insecure after I leave because of like the way someone speaks to me or the way like I feel like a conversation goes because then I start like second guessing everything in my head I'm like that is so crazy we are so different here I like don't care oh see I care so much like I'll leave an interaction with somebody new or that I'm like not on like a close friendship level with, and I'll think about it for like a good day like unless you are actively in my life every single day and like constantly yeah. you know like unless we have a real relationship like i don't care what you think of me really you know yeah. see i care I, what I used to i'm be such like a that, carer though. i care when i first like started social media i was totally like that but yeah. now i'm like unless we are both like contributing to each other's yeah. lives like i don't really care yeah which is the best mindset you could possibly have so you need to i'll, get, on I'll get there yeah. i'll get there but i think right now i'm still just like very like i like the people i like staying in my little bubble because as soon as i leave it i feel like I'll like second guess all my life choices. If yeah. like someone speaks to me a different way or like I like try to be friendly with somebody and they don't reciprocate that energy back, I think I like spiral. I'm like, oh my God, like I'm hated by everyone. Um, <laughs> don't we have a, we have a game. Yeah, wait, right? but the red flag I want to first oh, say okay. like, I think that me and Oliver have different, um, like we have different perspectives on this because Oliver's never been in a relationship. I've never dated He's anyone. He's never dated in my life. anybody. I've dated multiple Male, people. Male, female, no one. Nothing. Um, yeah. So nothing. he has like a good perspective on like friendship red flags. Yeah. I have a good perspective, I think, on like relationship yeah. red flags. Because we've both had like different experience. Yeah. Like we have experience in different places. Fields. A lot. Yeah. I also like men. So like, it, <laughs> True. it's just like, I don't have, like, I, and I feel like that helps with you sometimes because I can like, I'm a man. Like, I can help yeah, you. Yeah. No, sometimes I'm like, Oliver, what the f like yeah. literally what? And I'll be like, okay, let me this break is it. Like, I'm like, let me break it down. What's going for you. on? Yeah, because yeah. I'm like, guys are weird. Yeah, sorry. No, even men me, I think so I'm weird sometimes. What is men like, are just scary in general. Anyways, no offense to any man in this room, but yeah. seriously, what is going on half the time? Like, I just someone I, don't get it. I saw the funniest tweet, and it was like the top five stream songs on Spotify. Oh my were god, like, it's all like it was like F to F, like. <laughs> Flowers, flowers like um, kill bill and like it was like <laughs> what are you men doing to like, these girls, these girls. it's just oh like God. here's okay sorry i'm i'm ranting now but like why are we the emotional ones like damn seriously sorry yeah. it's just like i don't get it so half the time i'm like whoa like mm -hmm. guys are really um they're babies babies they're babies they're babies the game is we're going to pick 
a piece of paper up and we have to decide red flag, green flag, blue flag, white flag. Orange, white. Wh- whatever it is. Yeah. And why? Okay. Cool. Yeah. So we're basically just. Let's debate. Yeah. You want, you want me to pick first? Yeah. Okay. Go. I'm excited. Okay. I love games because it's just like so unhinged. Okay. Here we go. They don't have a job. <laughs> <laughs> well, considering the fact that me and you also don't really have sorry, a job. That was so funny. Um, are they trying to get a job? Okay. It's just that I they don't have a job. Red flag, green flag. It, okay. It could go both okay, ways. Okay, we're going like, to we're going to rate we red working? flag, green flag, yellow flag. Yellow flag's middle. Yeah, are we working towards Okay. having a job? Like do we have a goal, you know? Got it. Is there something in the, the distance? Okay, my... If we're just like, no, I want to play video games all yeah, day forever? No. Um, I don't know. I have mixed feelings about this one. I mean, we both don't have like... We have jobs, but it's like... We're doing our job right now. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you're right. We are literally um, doing it like as we speak. I think for a while... I think, I, I, think I, I think it's different. I think for a year I didn't really have a job here. And like I was, my parents. Okay, like, but that's exactly what it's a yellow flag. It's like you don't yeah, have a job, but you're working but you're towards something. Doing auditions, okay, you're flag, going to acting yeah. class, you're like working out, yeah. towards something. You know, if you like just don't yeah. want to do anything, like no. If I go like on a period, date with a guy a and and they're like, I'm like, so you, what do you do? And they're like, oh, I don't have a job, but I'm like aspiring to be an actor or a painter or a whatever mm-hmm. it may be. Then yeah, I I'd say a little bit on the greener side. Definitely still. Yellow, because we got to get yeah. to a place that we do In have a job. between green and yellow. Yeah. Anyway, my turn. All right, next one. Rude to people in service industry. Literally red. instant red like, flag. That like is I'm the getting biggest, up and I'm walking out. That is like the biggest ick ever. Yeah, that is totally an ick. Like not, not only like is it a red ick. flag. It's a like red flag it's, it's ex ick. It's like a red flag ick collab. <laughs> it's a red flag ick collab. It is, dude. Like I... I, it's funny because, God, I'm going to throw my mom under the bus a little bit here. No, don't do that. I love Nancy. No, I love her too. Leave her but alone. Like, she's, we're Jewish. So like food is really important to us. Like food is like culture and life. So like if we go to a restaurant and like her hamburger is like, like not really well done. She doesn't do it in like a rude way, but it's very like, Jew- like if you're Jewish, you know, like we're naggers, like we're naggers, like. Like, we care about our food. So it's, like, especially, like, service industry workers. Like, I'm like, Mom, like, they they, they don't cook the food. Like, they, they can't help you with that. And she's like, she's like, hey, okay. But, uh, she, like, does it in a sweet, but it's, like, I'm embarrassed. I'm like, oh, my yeah. God, Mom, like, please just, like, eat the hamburger, dude. Like, I mean, I feel like if, like, they, if if your order is wrong, yeah. okay, yeah, I would never. But she'll just be I'm like, I one. know, I'm not the one I'm, either. I'll I'm eat whatever's eat, put I'm in front of me. Yeah, like, I'm not the one. But, like, you know. It's just like, no, this is do what she'll, thing, it's not, she'll do. Just it. don't be rude. This is, yeah, it's not more so not rude. Not Nancy. Nancy can do nothing wrong in my Love eyes. Her. But it's not more her. It's not even more her being rude. It's more, at, she asks for a lot. Like, mm-hmm. we'll sit down. She'll be like, can I get a cup of ice? Oh, I need sweet and low. Oh, uh, can, the hamburger, well done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oliver? What? You do the same I know. thing. We're, me, I know. We're the same person. I love cups of ice and I need lemon. lemon. Like, we're, like It's a Jewish thing, guys. If you're Jewish, you know what's up. <laughs> you're so okay. funny. Okay. I'm going to pick the next one. <laughs> you're so funny. I like this game a lot. I'm having a blast. They lie on their dating profile. It depends about what. Actually, no. Red flag. I don't know. I don't know. I've never Can we had skip a, that? Yeah, Let's skip that I've one. A... I mean, I, we don't do the dating apps, except I am on Raya. <laughs> Come <laughs> I just looked at you. It's like, okay, we're gonna. It's because I'm bored. Guys. Love bombing. What does that even mean? Um, for example, like let's say me and you start dating. Okay. <laughs> and, like let's say we literally meet and we're like, oh my god, I like you, whatever. And I just immediately start being like, I love you, I love oh, you, like no. I'm obsessed with you, like you're every red flag. Love bombing. Serial killer, red flag. <laughs> it's giving red flag. Um, I love attention. Love it so much. See, so, this is where I think we're a little bit different. Yeah. Like, she'd be like, green flag the house down. Like, <laughs> yeah. I love, love, love. Unfortunately, I love, I love. love attention. So. If someone I met, like, on a app yeah. or whatever, and then we got, like, lunch or something, and they were texting me, I love you, like, I'm sorry, you're done. Like, you're out the door. Uh, yeah, I, I see. The thing is, I understand it's a red flag, but, What, like, how, what are your, t- put that aside. Care. 
timetable? Like, what do you think is an appropriate amount of time before you tell someone that you love them? Like, dating-wise. <laughs> um, I think six months for me. I'm sorry. Yeah, sure. Actually, I'm a Leo. I love every... It's a different type of love. Like, I, have, I, have I think to, I'm if at I'm a different... If you would yeah. asked me this six months ago, yeah. I would have been like... Never. Literally, no, I would have been like, whenever. Oh, like, okay. Like, love, love. Okay. Now I'm like, never. Like, yeah. Now I'm at a place where I'm like, I love Ooh. no one. So, no. Valid, valid. I love how it's like, we. I'm breaking all the rules. I'm picking what I like. <laughs> That's how I roll. Who's calling you right now? Someone in Texas. Love. I just don't this know. is a full call out to you, Sabrina. Awesome. I'm letting you guys see it before she sees it. I love being called out. It's awesome. Just a personal attack. This is hilarious. Is it really bad? Extensive Lego collection. <laughs> I would eat I that up. Weird. Oh my god, we would get married. Like that's it. I'm on. I'm on my I'm hands fine and with knees. It. Like I'm I would it eat it up. up. I would literally be I like, just "You're that the was one." Funny, you because I was like a one. direct call out. Yeah, um, I have a Lego wall. Like it's. I've lost count of how many Legos I built. If I, they are really picky eaters. Uh, I don't care. Oh, I have strong opinions on this. Oh, okay. Well, my, okay. I'll sell mine because it's okay. short. I don't care. Like, like what you like. I guess. No. Why would I? Wow. Like, I'm <laughs> sorry. Like, it is my big. It's an ick. Red flag collab again. <laughs> like, if we go out to restaurants and you are ordering off the freaking kids menu, like chicken fingers and mac and cheese. Like, grow up. Like, we need to grow up a little bit. <laughs> like, maybe try, like, like some sushi. I don't know. <laughs> like, it's crazy. Like. I don't personally care, but I see where you're coming from. Like, if, we, if I take you on, like, a vacation somewhere and, like, we're dating, even friends, I'm like, bro. Like, friends, I'm like, bro. I can see where, like, if you're ordering off a kid's menu, where that's a little crazy. But, like, I understand if you don't want to eat a slice of raw tuna. Like, if I take you on a family, like, trip somewhere and we go somewhere, like, exotic, and, like, you're literally eating, like, french fries and, like, burgers every time, like, we got to try something new. <laughs> we got to try something new. We got to spice it up. Yeah, okay. No. no. <laughs> what? Doesn't drive. Red flag, green flag for me. Red flag if, like, you don't have your license. Like, red, that's a red flag. Like, if mm. you don't have your license, I'm like, what are we doing? Like, <laughs> at 16... To be fair, wait, we are me, 21. Let me finish. So... Let me finish. This also depends on your age. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you're an adult, if you're over 16 and you can't drive, we have a problem. 16's a little crazy. No, I remember I was at the DMV on my 23rd birthday, July 23rd. When I turned 15 to get my permit. I would and say that, 18. Like, if, mm. if you hit 18 and you still don't have your license, like... No. 16. 17. Okay. 17. We'll, we'll meet in the middle. 17. We'll meet in the middle. Yeah. But it's like, I was at the DMV on my birthday for both times. Because I, I was like, I need to drive. Well, that's crazy. Drive. That's that's serial killer behavior. Why? Like, I who wanted goes to, to the DMV on their birthday? I wanted a car to drive. But on your birthday? Yeah. Okay, it was like maybe the week of my okay, birthday. Okay, there but we like, go. I was like, I cannot wait to have a vehicle to like, when my parents are mad, gone. When I'm being yelled at, gone. <laughs> McFlurry down the street. I live by a McDonald's McFlurry every time. Every street. time we'd get into a fight, I'd drive and get a McFlurry. Oh. But no, that's a re that's like, it's just like, and that's the other thing. It's like, if you can't afford a car, but you have your license, like, that's not a red flag. That's not a red flag. Like, you, if you can't no. afford a car, like... I'm not, no one's going to hold that against you. Like, I'm not going to hold that. Up. Like, if flag. I'm dating someone, they're like, oh, like, I have my license. I can drive. I just don't have my own car. I'll drive you, babe. Pookie bear. <laughs> Where are we going, pookie bear? <laughs> You're going to love this one. Mm. Bad texter. <laughs> mm. Oh, my God. Well, I'm you're so kind of a bad texter. No, I'm not. Oh, if I'm, if I'm like interested in you in that like it's different yeah we see each other every day yeah. i don't need to be like good morning pookie like yeah. you know there was a time during our friendship where like of work like when we weren't together i would be like is she my friend anymore because like i just cannot get a text back i was literally like i'd be like taking a nap mm -mm. there'd be like i'd have to like mm. yeah i'm mm -hmm. if i okay she's better about it now she answers me when i call Friend, okay, listen, 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 listen. I cannot, okay. Red flag, like, green flag, it yellow flag. It is such a red flag. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I just like mm -hmm. I can't like if I don't want to be talking to a wall, you know. Like, yeah. Give me something to work with. You give know? me some. Give meat. me something. Give me some meat. Right. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Interesting some, uh. way to put it. But yeah, I need to yeah. like 
we need to be able to have a conversation going like Mm -hmm. i don't know if you're a bad texter it gives me that gives me the ick Oh, that does, it just is more of annoying. It's I like, get that. It, it, yeah, it annoys me to the point where I'm like, okay, yeah. never mind. For me, it's like, I don't think it's a really, I think it's a, yeah, I think it's in the middle because it's like, I think the more, I feel like for a while, like people that we were like, friend, like not friends with people, like if you found someone that you're talking to, like they didn't have a real job. Like, you know what I mean? Like if I was talking to someone who lived in LA and like did the same thing I did, like... Like, our our job is our phone. No, I get what you're saying. Like, our job so is like our phone. These... So, like, like if I was talking to an actor that had to be on set yeah. every day, like, there's a difference between communication and bad texter. I think... I agree. I think if you can tell me, hey, I'm having a really busy day on 100%. set, and, like, I'm on, I'm filming from... But if it's, like, I'm, I'm texting and you're like, yeah. No, like, that's... No, that's cool. red flag. I think, yeah. I think this could I'm have like, been interpreted up, in two like, different ways. I think... Bad communication and bad texts are two different things. No, if you communicate, like, cool. If you have free time and you're not working and I'm, like, trying to, like, get catch up and, like, have a conversation, it's, like, the driest shit ever. Ick. How am I supposed to respond to, like, LOL? Yeah. Or just, like... I'm going to block you. Honestly, if I ever get a yeah or an LOL, you're blocked. When I get texted yeah, I'm like, what? Mm -hmm. Like, what is... What do you mean yeah? So that was a fun game. This episode is full of games. Um, We are going to do another one. Also involves a bowl and, and paper. Um, yeah. And this one is story times. So, like, we're going to pick the papers and, like, it'll be, like, um, like restaurant or something. And so, like, we have to give yeah. a story. And we're going to give you a funny story. Yeah. Good Lord. Okay. Three, two, one. Hey. The bowl's here. She's all yours for the picking. Okay. It's gas station. But I don't really think I have a story time. No. I, nothing has. Just cra- pass. Does anything crazy happen to you at a gas station? No. Thankfully. Don't put it back in there. <laughs> oh, God. What is nightmare it? or dream? Whew. You have lots of nightmares and lots of dreams. <laughs> you have lots of nightmares. I de- You dead call me every morning like, I had the craziest nightmare. Or no, like, yeah, I, I the do craziest have a lot dream. of nightmares. Like, you literally call me every morning and you're like, I had the craziest dream. I can't say them, though. You can think of a funny one. Let me think. Most of them are, like... Crazy. Crazy. Um, okay, skip. Yeah, they okay. all, like... They all involve. They're all personal. Yeah. Like, not to me, to other people. Yeah. Okay. It's Taco Bell. Okay. I don't really have a, like, crazy funny story, but um, I didn't I didn't eat Taco Bell until, like, a couple months ago yeah. for the first time, and it's great. I don't know. I don't really okay. have a crazy story. You're da- you're- they have really good Pepsi. I will yeah. say that. I, I like hate their Pepsi. Ba- I like their Baja Blast. I hate Pepsi, Ugh. but they have the best Pepsi of all time. A Baja Blast freeze right now, I could... Why, I feel like people would have crazy stories about Taco Bell, though. I did get rear-ended. Oh, my it. God. I have a funny Taco Bell story. Should I really? segue? And yeah. then I'll pick my own story. Um, I get two stories. Sure. Um, my dad used to fully convince me. Well, maybe he's right. <laughs> okay. That, like, I would make him drive me through the Taco Bell drive through after cheer practice. And he'd be like, oh, they're, they're sawdust. Like, that's not real meat. Like, he, for, for a while, convinced sawdust. me that, like, the meat was, like, like sawdust that like was like bi- like cooked in like um the taco okay. seasoning. I'm gonna it's have like to say that probably isn't true. Well, it might be. Okay. All right, I'm gonna pick one. Broken bone, love that. This one's so me. <laughs> I can tell you right now how many broken bones I've had in my lifetime. Okay. Twenty six broken bones. I've broken twenty six bones. How? I was a cheerleader. I was a cheerleader. I've had I've had broken thumbs. I've had broken fingers. I've had broken like my hand has been broken before. I've had I've been in a full neck brace. Like we'll insert <laughs> picture if I can find it. Like full neck brace because I landed on my head like tumbling. Um, I have really really flat feet. Yeah. So like ru- even like cheering like running I would break this little bone called my sesamoid bone on the bottom of my foot. But I remember. I loved the attention. I would walk into school and I'd be like, oh, help. I'm so, like, I'm, I'm fragile and hurt. And, like, all my friends would, like, carry my books for me. And, like, I would have my little You're crutches. So annoying. I loved it. Anytime I had an excuse to go to the hospital or, like, the doctor, I loved my parents. Like, I was, like, I was a hypochondriac for sure. <laughs> like, there's thousands and thousands of dollars spent at Piedmont Hospital in Atlanta because of how <laughs> much I've been there. Like, 
You are such a I loved the attention. I loved when I could walk into school and be like, everyone be like, oh my God, like. What happened? Are you okay? Like, ugh. I wish I could go back in that time. I would have hated you in high school. Okay, pick. I would have been like, shut up. I loved it. I ate it up. Let's see. Hopefully I have a good one this time. Family vacay. I feel like you definitely have to have a good one for this. No, I do. Um, it Your was last family's year. big. Yeah, I have a really big family. It and was, your siblings are crazy funny. Like, they're crazy they're awesome. and funny. Yeah, they're crazy are, funny. It was last, not this past Christmas, but the Christmas before. I was, um, my family goes on cruises a lot. They love it. They eat it up. So we were going on a cruise for Christmas, and I made Cooper come with us. And we were so excited. And oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, you're involved in I this am story. Involved. Um, we were so excited. And I remember Cooper's <laughs> mom calling great. me and she's like, dude, do not let this man forget his passport. And I was like, I won't. So in my head, you know, we're packing. We're like Who said flying this, to Florida. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're flying to Florida like to meet up with my family. And the entire time I'm just like Cooper's passport, Cooper's passport. Like I cannot forget his passport. So I made sure that this man had his passport. Like it was the top of my priorities list. And we get there. It's the night before we leave on the cruise. And everyone, my mom's like, everyone give me their passports. And I forgot mine. <laughs> yeah, you did. I forgot my passport. So I call Oliver and I'm like, hey, I need you to break into my apartment and well, grab my passport yeah, yeah, yeah. and ship overnight ship it to me. And he did. <laughs> he did. But the kicker is? He, I paid so much money. I literally, you literally like, paid anything. like $350, I was I like, think. anything, I will do anything. This and world, they like, promised me. They were, yeah. I was in that UPS and they were like, it will get there the Thursday before she, like, or the Friday before she like leaves. Yeah. Like, they like, were like, it is guaranteed. So I was like, you're good. You're safe. Mm-hmm. It didn't get there. No. <laughs> it, it honestly didn't. showed up like three days later. Yeah, it just didn't show up. So me and Cooper had to stay at my family's home in Miami by ourselves for Christmas. <laughs> and that was my sad. parents were like going to the cruise, like crying. They're like, I'm like opening my luggage in front of everyone, handing out Christmas presents, like as people are getting on this cruise. <laughs> Crazy. It was the most <laughs> embarrassing shit ever. And it was, yeah. <sighs> okay. Ready? Let's see what I got, babe. <laughs> Airport security. You know the story. <laughs> <laughs> like, do I want this living on the universe? Do I want this out there? Yeah, yeah it's really funny. It's and I've grown and I'm hot and cute now and like I would never do something like this again. So any male watching this, like I'm really... It is so... I'm so clean and cute and hot and like I would never do something like this again. So please um, just take the story for what it is. Let me set the scene for you. Met Gala. That's dramatic. Like me that saying was that was really <laughs> dramatic. No, like that that's dramatic. Crazy. I like, d fashion week. Yeah. And Met Gala were happening at the same time. Yeah. Um, I was there for fashion week. I think this was twenty what? Um, twenty twenty one. Yeah, twenty twenty one. Um, fashion week and Met Gala were happening at the same time, and. I had gone through the week, great week, thought I needed to go out with a bang. I was not indeed correct. I did not need to go out with a bang. <laughs> I remember that night, that so the Met Gala was happening, and I had some friends that were throwing, like, afters, um, and I had a flight to catch at 9 in the morning. But I was like, I have FOMO. I have the worst FOMO ever. Like, if someone's like, yo, bro, like, we're all pulling up to, like, my friends after, it's like, so-and-so's met gala after party like let's go and i'm like i'm down for it like i'm down for it like i will say yes to quite literally anything mm -hmm. so i was like okay like cool i'll bring my luggage i brought my luggage with me to the party brought it with me to the party i was like i'm gonna you're go crazy straight from this party <laughs> to the airport yeah you're insane i was also like new to the like the whole scene and i think i just was like i wanted to do like any opportunity that came my way to like have fun or do something i was like i'm going mm -hmm. So I brought my luggage with me. I went to this party and I remember I had not eaten like all day because I was like running around from like, like event to event. So they were serving sushi. They're serving sushi. That is where we <laughs> went wrong. Um, 4 a.m. sushi. Just yeah. 4 a.m. and sushi combined is just like, that's not right. So I was starving. I didn't eat anything. I was like, Did I it taste good. It tasted fine. That's why I'm like okay. to this day confused on why what happened. I think it was the lack of sleep, alcohol, sushi. 
<laughs> and 4 a.m. Like that was the combination. So anyways, I'm downing sushi at this um, after party and then it's time to go to the airport. Mm-hmm. So I leave, I Uber to the airport. I want to say halfway through my trip to the airport, <laughs> I was like, my, there's something not right. Like my <laughs> tummy is not sitting right. <laughs> like something is not sitting right in my stomach right now. So I get to the airport and I'm like, ru- I'm rushing in. I'm like, but trying to keep calm, cool, collected about it. And I, and the line is out the door, bro. Like yeah. New York fashion week, like people and people are leaving. Yeah. Like people are leaving lines out the door. I run up to the front and I'm like, hi, um, I really, really need to use the restroom. Can I please just leave my bag here with you? And of course, airport safety reasons. You can't leave a bag unattended because bomb or et cetera. <laughs> so she's like, no, you can't. So I'm like lugging, lugging, lugging this suitcase and I cannot see a bathroom. Like I cannot find a bathroom. I'm on the verge of explosion. <laughs> I'm on the verge of explosion. <laughs> So I'm running around <laughs> this freaking airport looking for the bathroom. So finally I find one, but by then it's too late. <laughs> by then it's too late, guys. Full diaper. That's all I'm going to say. Full full diaper. Oh I'm like half drunk, sushied out with a half diaper in the middle of JFK. Yeah. Um, that's not even the worst of it. I literally had to call the police. Called the police. <laughs> To get them to come help me. Because I'm not... What am I? I have a flight to catch. I cannot sit on the plane in these dirty clothes. Why did you call the, the I didn't have anyone to call. So I called 911 and the officer really was helpful. And he helped me go get clothes. Um, so I, he gave me clothes. I Ubered to Target and bought new clothes and made my flight. I f***ing made my flight. That is badass. That's oh badass. <laughs> Well, who else was I going to call? Not the police. My mom? What is she going to do? Come to New York and get me? Like, I don't know. I called 911 and I was like, I'm in <laughs> I the bathroom. I have a full diaper in the JFK bathroom and I don't know how to fix it. I'm just trying to imagine like that, like 911 responder being like, like, like what is what? my day today? <laughs> but I made that flight and I'm so, that is my proudest moment is that I got, because I at that point I wanted nothing more to be home and in my bed. Like I and I was I wasn't flying back to LA. I was flying back home to Atlanta. So I remember being like, I'm gonna get home. Like home cooked meal waiting for me. Bed is ready to go. I made that flight and I was so proud of me, considering the fact that I literally had like destroyed that poor bathroom. <laughs> oh yeah. How did they like respond to you telling them you should eat your pants? I just remember him laughing like, for like a good like, like fifteen seconds. Being for like, yeah. Emergencies. And he was like, okay, like, and he was like, I know it can be embarrassing, but like, we'll help you out. Like, he was really nice about it. Like, if I could tip police, I would tip police. Cause like, he really didn't have to deal with that that day. Mm-mm. Well, thank you guys for watching. Like, what a crazy way to end this episode. Don't eat sushi at 4 a.m. in New York. Yeah. Um, don't do that. And don't definitely. That. Um, if you shit your pants, call the cops. Correct. <laughs> They will help. <laughs> they will help you, and they will get you some clean clothes. But um, yeah, I feel like this episode was polar opposite to the last, which I think yeah. is awesome. It's a lot more. Like, it's a lot more us. Yeah. Like totally. this is like this is what we talk about <laughs> on Sabrina's couch at like eleven o'clock at night. Yeah. So, yeah, thanks for hanging out. Um, again, my TikTok is little Olivert, <laughs> and my Instagram is Oliver Do you like pitch it to brands like that? I don't know. Should I? I let's ask Alana okay, after. Yeah. I'm like, or, when you're pitching me, do you say little Oliver <laughs> would love to like shoot for Calvin Klein with you? Like, <laughs> I'm sure they're like little Oliver. Well, anyways. Cooper's old username was Coop Daddy Six Nine. Yeah, so I'm sure brands love that too. Yeah, they okay. laid it up. That's anyway, my. Those sorry. are my plugs. Mine are Sab Casada. And yeah, then on everything. Yeah, literally. yeah, literally. Also, we have a podcast Instagram. Yeah, Brutally. I've been spamming on it. Yeah, she has been. I love it. I'm eating it up unapproved yeah. i'm like popping up i'm, I'm like oh i didn't everything. even know that picture Every, of me existed yeah it's great so um if you want to brutal, see those pictures it's yeah brutally, brutally honest. honest pod but with a zero you can watch new episodes every wednesday on the past your bedtime youtube channel where you can find the video format and then on all streaming platforms for the audio we will see you there i'm really excited for you guys to come hang out with us and listen to us be brutally honest about everything in our lives bye bye guys